aggregate demand and supply. Aggregate demand is often seen as the driver of an economy. Let's take a closer look. Aggregate demand, or AD for short, is the sum of consumer spending and spending by firms on capital goods like machinery, equipment, and premises. It also includes spending by the public sector on public and merit goods, such as roads, bridges, and defense, and education, and healthcare. Aggregate demand also includes spending by overseas consumers and firms on an economy's goods and services, such as when US citizens buy UK-produced computer games. Household consumption is the most important component of aggregate demand, making up around 65% of national income in most advanced economies. There is a simple formula for AD, which is aggregate demand equals consumption plus investment plus government spending plus exports minus imports. AD is negatively related to an economy's price level and the AD curve slopes downwards. At a high price level, consumption, C, investment, I, and export sales, X, are lower and imports M are higher, creating a lower national output at Y1. At a low price level, C, I, and X are higher and M is lower, creating a higher national output at Y2. Aggregate supply is the sum of goods and services an economy is willing and able to produce in a period of time. In the short run, the aggregate supply curve, AS curve for short, slopes upwards. Let's see why. Assuming nothing else changes, at higher prices, firms may expect to gain more revenue and profits and produce more output at Y1. At a lower price level, firms expect lower revenue and profits and produce less output at Y2. National income equilibrium will occur at the price level that equates aggregate demand and short-run aggregate supply. Equilibrium national income, or Y, can change following a change in AD or AS. Assuming a constant price level, AD can shift to the right, which is an increase, if a component of AD increases. This could include increases in household consumption, investment, government spending, or exports. Each of these is determined by many factors. For example, household spending is affected by real wages, unemployment levels, consumer confidence, and interest rates, lower interest rates and income tax, and higher wages could all increase AD. AD can shift to the left, a decrease, if a component of AD decreases. Higher interest and tax rates and lower real wages are likely to reduce AD. Shifts in aggregate supply, AS, can affect the equilibrium level of output in an economy. AS can shift following changes in firms' costs including wages and raw materials and factor productivity. Lower costs shift AS to the right, and higher costs shift AS to the left. The Long Run Aggregate Supply Curve, or LRAS curve, is a vertical curve at the economy's current capacity, at YF. The position of the LRAS curve is not determined by the price level. Why is this? In the long run, and assuming normal levels of inflation, between 2 and 5%, the price level has little bearing on output, while the quantity and quality of factors including labour, the use of technology, and the productivity of factors do have an influence. Although vertical, the LRAS can shift if productive potential changes, such as when education and training, or new technology, improves labour productivity. The LRAS curve is influenced by supply-side policy, not by fiscal or monetary policy.